What's good, YouTube? Stormy B Man, and I'm back with a video editorial. Before we get started, I'd like to say shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, New Media, and Liberated Perspective, the third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. The title of this editorial is Naysayers and Detractors in Boxing. The reason for this particular topic is because as we are about six weeks removed from the rematch that is going to take place between WBC heavyweight champion Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and Tyson Fury the Gypsy King, we're finding that the odds going into the fight have Fury as an overwhelming favorite. <clears throat> and not only is it from the perspective of the odds makers, we're seeing this sort of visual approach to the fight with a total denouncement of what Deontay Wilder has accomplished in the sport. He is the fighter who has had 10 title defenses representing himself and the sport with the utmost dignity and he is an ambassador as well a true people's champion while in the meantime Tyson Fury who has had his share of troubles outside the ring and most recently inside the ring while taking on lower level competition and struggling through to remain victorious in 29 fights with no losses it seems like, just like in everyday life, the, to the, the, the victors go to the spoiled, okay? Now, <clears throat> these announcers and commentators and personalities from Fox PBC broadcast that I put in this collage here are small representatives of what we're seeing in the sport, naysayers and detractors. These people find ways to diminish what someone is doing in the sport while they're having successes and they find ways to try to throw loyalty and support behind lesser commodities in the sport. In other words, there are certain classes of fighters out there that they just get behind with an agenda to try to push their careers forward and make the public seem to take interest in them because they are speaking up on those talents. But then again, there are others in the sport who are actually working hard, like Mr. Wilder, at their craft and also at their public image and persona to make sure that they can cross to the masses, but not cross over, but just lay down the bridge to invite the public to take acknowledge of them because these personalities who are behind the broadcast booths with the headphones and in front of the studio cameras do not do that type of promotion for them. So as we see this taking place, it puts a sour taste in your mouth and you realize and recognize that there are a number of fighters that we call hype jobs who always get that type of consideration and media coverage and being propelled in front of the masses when they have yet to do what's necessary in the sport facing quality opposition and challenges and look to score pay-per-view opportunities off of all of this foolishness it's something that as a true boxing fan I feel I have to speak about and we should hold these people accountable because a lot of time information it's misleading and it's misinterpreted. You cannot have people that are of quality like Deontay Wilder be pushed to the wayside while you have characters like a Tyson Fury, a former drug, uh, former drug addict, and also a person who is battling depression as well as other demons because he has personal problems. See, this is what's wrong. It's almost like the adage that we speak of recently about participation trophies and acknowledgments. 
You give it up to people who don't earn it and don't deserve it, but yet and still those who do, you kind of take a little bit away from their accomplishments and what they're on because you want to lower the level of class. No, class is what it is, and class is at the top. You know, when you've accomplished something, you've gone to college, you've gotten your degree, you've made accomplishments. Someone who's a bust out on the street corner shouldn't get the same consideration as you. You understand? So this is what we're seeing in our society as well as in our sports. It's almost a common everyday experience. And journalists and personalities such as these, they seem to drive that notion forward. It is embedded in your brain. This is why you have to take a closer look at new media who give you the real coverage and tell you the real information that the masses need to hear. All we're trying to do is to support the sport in its most positive manner and give people an understanding that those who are making their way in the sport should be rewarded and should be supported. We're looking out for Deontay Wilder heading into this rematch because once and for all we feel that he is going to show why he is the cream at the top. Let me know what you think about this. Leave comments, share the video, and let's discuss. It's something that we should talk about. This is Stormy B Man. It's all I have for you at this time. Until the next time we get to speak, peace.